hello there beautiful people i hope you are having a creative day in this video i will show you how to create this type of image 3d card in wix studio so when you hover your mouse on this image card you will get a 3d perspective of the image uh, kind of like it is laid back on the ground so i will show you how to create this type of image card and we will use a simple css to create this uh, card you will get the code in the description so you can just copy this and paste it in your website with that said without further delay let's get started i'm going to create a new website so that i can uh, show you the entire css process from scratch All right, so the first thing we need is an image. Let's go to the media and drop a image in your section. Alright, so we now have the image and we will apply the CSS on this image right here. So to start the CSS, you have to first set up the developer mode. And from here, you can work on the CSS. So select the image, go to the CSS classes and add global.css file. Now the first thing we need to do is assign a CSS class to this image. So go to the custom classes here, make sure the image is selected and assign it a class. You can name it anything you want. All right, you just have to give it a name that follows the CSS uh, guidelines. All right, and now we are ready to add the CSS code to create the 3D animation. So start with the CSS class. Add the transform and rotate rotate X and rotate it by 51 degrees. We also want to add a rotation to the Z axis, so make sure to do that as well. Let's add a minus 43 degrees. All right, and now you have this type of um, back for your image the next thing we're going to do is add transform style and add a preserved pd now let's add some parameter for the image just like for example the border radius Thirty-two pixel is a good number. Now, one important thing for this type of effect is to add a shadow. So, for that, you need to add 
a box shadow. Um, if you don't understand the code, don't worry, you will get the entire code um, in the description. So just copy it and paste it in your website. After you set the parameter, like we did just now, you have to set the color of the shadow as well. For the color, I don't want to add too much, just add some uh, parameter here and there. I just want to decrease the alpha of the um, shadow. So set it to around 0 0.15. And finally, we have to set a transition for the um, animation effect. So add the transition. Transform. Zero point four second. Easy now. Let's also set a transition for the shadow as well because that's how we will get the good effect. All right, so this is the basic structure of the card itself. Now, the next thing we're gonna create is the hover effect for this card. And doing that is very easy. Once more, add the CSS class. So 3D card and hover. A semicolon and add the transform for the hover effect. Now we will add the translate 3D, which is right here. One more thing we're going to do is add the rotation, same. So just copy the original rotation from the uh, 3D card and paste it as it is. Next thing we're gonna do is add the box shadow. So just copy this and paste it right here and change some parameters. Let's also change the color a bit. All 
right, now let's preview the image. Let's enhance the color and the shadow. Like this. One final thing we have to do here is hide the back face visibility. The back face visibility and set it to hidden. And that's it. This is how you create the 3D card in Mixer Studio. Now you can add your text and anything you want on the right side or the left side. If you want to change the angle of the uh, rotation, just remove this negative sign from here and here. All right, so when you add and remove the negative sign, you will have the opposite angle for the uh, 3D card. So depending on whether you have it on left or right side, you can change the uh, rotation angle of the Z axis. But yeah, this is how you create the 3D card in Vixis Studio. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.